Have you ever had this happen to you? Okay, let's start with the line that gave you some issues. So what we're gonna do is take the 3M knifeless design line and we're gonna stick it on the truck. And as we're making that sharp turn, this hand is putting too much pressure on it, too much tension. And what that's doing is that it's pulling the line here, bringing the knifeless up. And that's why the knifeless always releases from the carrier. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with the 3M dredge line knifeless, and the reason for that is thicker. And if I can turn the bridge line at a sharp turn, we can turn any of our tapes sharp. So here's the thing. You're gonna take this, and as you're turning it, you're going to lock down the outside of your tape, and you're not gonna put that tension that I was showing you earlier. Notice how the inside has buckled. That is fine, because if you lay down your knifeless, you can see that the filament is still good. Okay, so that's with bridge tape. Now let's show you with finish line. So that last demonstration was with bridge line. So we're gonna show you with finish line now. Okay, and again, now that I have a thinner carrier, what's gonna happen is you won't be able to see clearly what I'm doing, but it's the same process. So as I'm turning the tape, I'm letting the inside buckle. Okay. Put your finger over top of the filament. And there you go. All right, so now we're gonna use it with the sign line. Okay. And again, it's like splitting the tape in half. And as you're turning it, you're gonna lock down the outside of the radius and let the inside radius buckle. See, you got all this wrinkles here. And then what we're gonna do is lock that tape down, let the inside buckle. And for additional insurance, what you can do is, I have this dotting tool and you can get this from Amazon. And what that will do is that I'm gonna take this round edge and then what I'm gonna do is burnish the inside. That will give you extra protection because now this, this filament will not release from the carrier. Again, this is a great tool for just that alone. Okay, how about we just finish this job now using the proper techniques. It's good now. Now remember, when you're turning the tape, you can actually stop at the turn, make your radius, and then continue. There's one more thing I forgot to do, is actually put knife knifeless on here. So let's just do that now, not a big deal. And then re-squeegee, and everything down. So there you have it. If you use this technique, you can turn any of our tapes sharp. Other than that, if you click on the links in the description below, it'll bring you to more information on 3M knifeless tape.